WFNN. Headline News Update. Okay, folks, Larry Pesavento for the mid-afternoon update here for TFNN. I've uh, changed uh, strategy here. I posted the chart here at BlackRock, folks. I, I know most of you folks know that 69% of all of the S&P stocks are controlled by BlackRock, State Street, and Vanguard. BlackRock has $27 trillion under management. Stop and think of that, folks. 27 trillion, but the others are uh, just about 8 million each. BlackRock and State Street are both listed companies. Vanguard is a private company started by John Bogle oh, back in 86, and he's the one that started index funds and stuff. So, anyway, that's where look, my question is with the stock market being as strong as it's been since the March 5th of 2009, why isn't BlackRock, and BlackRock is looking pretty good. State Street doesn't look that very, very good at all. As a matter of fact, I, I think I could get that up here for us in a second if I can find the little SST here. And there's State Street, look look at that. that that's, that's, that's not a very positive chart, folks. Uh, so I don't know, you know, where this money's going, but uh, that's a question I have. Remember, I'm an old timer. I still believe in Richard Russell's, you know, non-confirmation of the Dow Jones and all that kind of stuff. Overbought, oversold, but that's the thing that concerns me is the fact that these companies that control all this money, why aren't these indices following along with the rest of the market? I mean, Larry Fink started a program with uh, his uh, computer program called Aladdin. That was supposed to outline all the cycles and how great the stock market was, and he certainly has done that. But why isn't BlackRock up there with AI and stuff like that? I don't understand it. All I'm saying is, you know, think about, you know, where this money is and where it's going. Remember, this is an old timer speaking, and I speak of that in tongue in cheek. I hope you have a chance to stay with me here for the next part of the show because I'm going to talk about numbers and about gambling a little bit and how we differ in gambling in the market than we do with regular gambling things. So let's try to stay with us if you can today. Today's guest will be Shane Smolian, thewolftrader.com. Later on this week, I'm going to have Stan Harley on Thursday. The old cowboy's not going to be here, folks. He's going to be at Los Angeles at Staples Center watching the Arizona Wildcats play in the NCAA with a free ticket, believe it or not. We'll be right back. 877-927-6648. In the world 